defending the three-point line. Right now, Charleston Southern, they make 10 threes per game. A very team that wants to shoot the three ball, and then you cannot turn the ball over. Uncharacteristically, their last game, Virginia Tech, uh, they had some turnover issues where they gave up some points off of turnovers. They're normally pretty good uh, with taking care of the ball. They have to get back to that tonight. And the tip is in the air, and we are good to go. Virginia Tech and their home whites controlling the ball with Sean Padula at the point. Our Virginia Tech lineup, Padula, Couture, and Maddox in the backcourt with Bazilli and Mutz up front. Bazilli and Mutz, a dynamic combo. And Bazilli, the transfer from Wright State, connects on the long ball, and that's the name of the game for the Hokies. Yeah, that's a good sign right there if you're Virginia Tech. Start off with a good offensive possession and a three ball. Charleston Southern, 74 points a game, are allowing 74 points. Brian Chavez, Kelly, Clinton, and Duhart make up their starting five. Want to be deliberate, they'll kill some clock. Pass inside. Good rebound, put up and in. Clinton, industrious off the glass. And that's what uh, Charleston Southern wanted to do. We spoke with the coaching staff uh, at shoot-around, and they said, we must uh, get some easy opportunities, crash the offensive glass that time. Nice second-chance opportunity. Pass by Padula out of bounds. Charleston Southern's coach, he's no stranger on that sideline, Barkley Radabaugh, two-time Big South Coach of the Year, the three postseason appearances. He says, Malcolm, he was very glib with us earlier today. He said, I didn't do a good job the last couple of years traveling through the tough course that was the pandemic and also the transfer portal. He feels like he needs to do a much better job getting this program through it. But you said it. Uh, he's experienced, uh, really enjoyed our time speaking with him. Uh, and obviously, uh, he's been a mainstay of this program. And uh, tonight, on the road, uh, he has to be pleased first uh, early on minutes of this game how his team has executed offensively. Chavez with the three-pointer seconds ago. The junior transfer from Iona. Radabot told us that he thinks he's one of the top ten shooters in the country. That's his 13-3 in 37 attempts. He said, that's not hyperbole. Wait till you see him shoot. Yeah, and he said, look, most uh, people say that. They don't really mean it. They're just trying to hype guys up. He said he's got some of the best form he's seen. Good pass to Justin Mutz in the post. And I know he's one of your favorite players in the ACC. Why do you think he excels? He does a little bit of everything. Justin Mutz, you're right. He's one of my favorite players in the ACC. He's so versatile. He rebounds. He's one of the better rebounders uh, in the ACC. And... Again, they're going to be looking for his production on both ends of the court of Virginia Tech, but he does a little bit of everything for this team. Tajay Kelly powers underneath, and Barkley Radabot told us he needs to be 13-8 and eight this year for them to be successful, but three-point shooting, that graphic tells it all. Charleston Southern loves to launch, so does Virginia Tech. Ten for the Bucks and nine per game for the Hokies. And, John, that's why I said right away the keys for the game uh, for Virginia Tech defending the three-point line. Charleston Southern, uh, they're going to shoot them. Uh, they make 10 per game. You must be there on the catch. And that's something uh, when we spoke with uh, Coach Young this afternoon, he said, look, we must uh, do a good job defending the three-point line against this Charleston Southern team. And a travel and a turnover. There's Mike Young, a man who needs no introduction Fourth year in Blacksburg, he called it his dream job coming over from Wofford. He grew up down the road in Radford and how about a 59 and 37 record and a dream run to the ACC tournament title last year when they won four games in four days. One of the best in the business. Uh, Coach uh, Radeball had a huge uh, praise uh, for Coach Young. He said, look, that right there, uh, this is the key for them defending this Virginia Tech offense. Uh, he said he is one of the most difficult coaches uh, to game plan against because they do such a good job spacing the floor but he said they're counters. They have a counter for everything. The Chavez three is too strong with Mutz grabbing the rebound. 
Darius Maddox, he will launch, you saw that, with his three-pointer, 50% from the field. That's why, that's why there's such a difficult matchup. You have to defend all five spots. Indeed, three off the line by Hunter Couture, the ACC Tournament MVP last year. Clinton tries to get in the lane. Nice move by Kelly. That will bring us to a media timeout. Good start for both clubs with Tech leading by one in the early going. These goldfish megabytes are too big. Made Hokie Nation very proud when he announced in June he was returning to Blacksburg. And check out his decorated academic career, Malcolm. That's not too shabby. I uh, love to see this young man getting it done on and off the court. And uh, Coach Mike Young really just raves about what this young man has meant to the program. Uh, certainly outstanding basketball player, but you know, he talks about him as a young man off the court, what he represents, and obviously getting it done in the classroom. Uh, he's going to have success uh, whenever he decides to stop playing ball. Uh, but back to the ball piece, uh, he really uh, sums up kind of that a uh, lunch pail guy, guy that does a little bit of everything, one of the better rebounders in the ACC, was on the all-tournament team in the Charleston Classic, uh, averaged a double-double while he was down there, 12 and 10, and shot at a high clip, 56% from the floor. I thought it was extremely high praise when Mike Young told us that he's the best defender Young has ever coached. 20 plus years of Mike Young coaching. He says Justin Mutz is an elite defender. And he loves coaching him every day as it goes out of bounds. Mutz put up a triple double last year against Syracuse in February. He put a 12, 14, 11 assist game together. A huge part of their success. Really is a Swiss Army knife. Does a little bit of everything. Uh, but back to the defensive effort they're going to need tonight. I've been impressed early on with this Charleston Southern offense. Uh, they're doing a nice job spacing the floor. And a lethal jumper by Claudel Harris, who comes off the bench and he's their leading scorer at 19.8 per game. Markley Radabaugh said he's not worried about not starting. He's fine with being a sixth man. He's averaging over 33 minutes per outing. So Harris is happy to accept the role. Mutz launches a three that's off the line, and Harris grabs the rebound. It's unique, Malcolm, that Harris is willing to accept his role. Chavez with a three. So they go back to back in three point attempts, and they grab the six point lead. And that right there is bad gamble. Uh, you cannot gamble against this Charleston Southern team. You go to gamble, you don't get it. And it winds up a three. And a blow by by Sean Padula to counter and stop the mini six toe spurt. Georgia Tech can't be too aggressive on the defensive end, right? Because that might shoot some gaps. And here's Tajay Kelly with a turnaround. An erratic shot with Mutz grabbing the board. Couture with three. Not a bad answer for the Hokies. Hunter Couture averaged 10 points per game last year. This year off to a good start at 10.7. And he's 42% from distance. And John, little thing, but Justin Mutz, we talk about it, setting screens. Uh, that three is available because Justin Mutz set two screens uh, to free up Couture. Excellent screener of the basketball as well, too. And a giveaway by the Hokies. Harris can't capitalize. Kelly doing more dirty work. Here comes Padula. He's got some numbers. Baseline drive is good. Darius Maddox aggressive to the rack. That's a 30-second timeout. So Virginia Tech countering the Charleston Southern spurt, and they grab the one-point lead again.
I wish I could say I didn't know how hard it is to feed my family during the holidays. Hey, Dad, can we make cookies? But I've been there. Sure, honey. That's why I love to give back this time of year. I know no gesture is too small, and so does Food Lion. When you donate a Food Lion Feeds box, you're filling tables and hearts with hope this holiday season. Food Lion Feeds, here for every moment. John, the lost art of setting screens right here. Justin Mutz sets two screens to set up his teammate for a good look from beyond the arc. And, you know, John, young players, a lot of times they're not willing screeners. And for an offense to be good, in particular the spacing that Virginia Tech has and the screens and pin downs, you have to have bigs that are willing screeners. Justin Mutz, one of the better screening forwards uh, in the ACC. That illustration right there shows why these guys get a lot of open threes. And it's been all one and done trips for Virginia Tech so far. No second chance opportunities. And all five Hokies have scored. They're averaging 80 points per game. Here's a foul on Hunter Couture. That's on Claudel Harris. Don't forget, we got some great college football tomorrow's robbery weekend matchup. Dates to 1950 in the series. Seven and four pit has won three straight. They spur off against a Miami team looking to get bowl eligible. Our coverage begins at 8 Eastern on ACC Network and the ESPN app. Waddell Harris, an aggressive score, third in the Big South in free throw percentage. And just back to your earlier story on him willing to come off the bench, knowing that he's playing the most minutes, he's their leading scorer, uh, speaks to what type of young man he is. So Coach Radeball said, look, he does not care, did not even think twice about it. Uh, he's a team first guy. Certainly they benefited from that type of attitude. John Padula, his fourth point in the game. Nice drive. And well off the line. Wild shot by Caleb Clinton. You like what both clubs are doing offensively? We'll get into that coming up after this timeout. We have another media timeout, but also coming up, a special connection in Charleston to tell you. To build the taking pictures and signing autographs and giving out memorabilia, that really summarizes what a great tournament this is and how giving it is. Both squad, every squad participating in Malcolm Huckabee thoroughly enjoying this tournament. One of the best tournaments in college basketball. Bigger than basketball, and that's uh, really the message uh, Mike Young uh, shared with us about that moment right there. He was very proud of his team, all these young men, and certainly the time that they took, uh, as you said, to give back. Uh, really uh, get goosebumps watching that. Excellent job by all of them that are involved. Kid with a dunk. We saw that graphic of large leads blown by the Hokies, including eight on Sunday against the winner, College of Charleston. That was a terrific game. You called it with Jay Alter. And back and forth and so many swings of momentum. And Mike Young told us that game still burns him. He's still thinking about it. Rebound is tracked down by Sean Padula. That's the competitiveness of Young, but says he's also really not worried about the direction of his team. He thinks there's a lot of good stuff that's going on for them. Second into the Buccaneers, number four, Tyree Bryant. Well, there were some uncharacteristic, there were some uncharacteristic things uh, that happened in that game uh, that uh, he talked about. Obviously, it being pretty much a home, it's a home game for uh, the College of Charleston, but I think the big thing was the turnovers. Uh, College of Charleston had 14 points off of 13 Virginia Tech turnovers. Uh, Virginia Tech really uh, starting off the year, and year over year, they're one of the better teams at taking care of the ball. Uh, and certainly uh, fatigue and just uh, getting out of there, what they do uh, hurt them in that game. But make no mistake about it, I think he's very pleased with where his team is at right now. 
deep three converted. Outstanding shot that time by Trez Berry, a transfer from Rhode Island. As it's a one point lead for Virginia Tech. Any offense the Bucks get from Berry will be a bonus. Elbow jumper. And rebound kept alive as Maddox missed it. There's the three by Couture. Bazzilli crashing the lane, but he stepped out of bounds. Second the Buccaneers. Mike Young not happy with the closeout. Again, top of the keys. You have to be there on the catch. If you're not there on the catch, it's too late. Uh, Mike Young uh, talked about that. He's in the game, his guys having good closeout, being disciplined and transition D, but then in their half court sets, uh, we said it, Charleston Southern, uh, they make 10 threes a game. If you're not there, they're gonna make you pay if you give them wide open looks. Now before that three by Barry, they hadn't made a bucket in four minutes. Sloppy drive in the lane and a kickball. Tomorrow at 6 Easter, the ACC Huddle Crew will have a complete wrap up of the afternoon games and they'll get set for the prime time matchup between Pitt and Miami on ACC N and 8. All right here on ACC Network and the ESPN app. Another three, and it's good. How about that by Brian to give the Bucks their lead, 21-19. That's four makes in six attempts from three. 67% sound like a broken record, uh, but Virginia Tech, again, they know the scouting report. Three-point defense uh, is going to be key in this one. Oh, the second three of the season for Brian in 11 attempts, and here they come. Got five lead changes already. The blow by attempt is no good. That was Johnson on the drive, transfer from Holy Cross. Couture finds Maddox. Tough competition from Johnson, but he nailed it. I love Maddox's pull-up jumper. That's a tough uh, pull-up jumper in the lane. He's got great elevation uh, off the bounce. Sometimes uh, good defense uh, just gets outmatched by better offense. And a pull-up miss by Brian. Silly's been quiet. But not so much that time. Right on cue, Grant Bazzilli showing why he's one of the most dangerous big men shooters from distance. Uh, he fits right in with uh, Mike Young's offense. Uh, he hit 47 threes last year. Uh, the grad transfer from Wright State, and that's a beautiful offense uh, by Virginia Tech. And Teddy Valentine calls it travel against the Bucks. Grant Bazzilli. Oh yeah, he can dial up from long distance. The Hokies lead by three. Beam, Malcolm Huckabee, Charleston Southern doing a nice job. Yeah, right now the closeouts are late. That time a gamble uh, by Padula makes them pay. You know you can even expect uh, from Virginia Tech, they're one of the better uh, offensive teams in the ACC. Uh, pick and pop, uh, Basile, uh, he's a guy that you must be aware of uh, anytime you're playing Virginia Tech. The pop back out beyond the three-point line. Both teams shooting at a high uh, percentage. Uh, right now, though, advantage Charleston Southern. Just like that, Justin Mutz with another bucket. Foul, and an N1. Well, he right now uh, is a guy, uh, all league guy in the ACC. Uh, he does so much, he'll lead the break. Uh, you can put him down low in the post. Uh, he's a guy we talked about, uh, one of the better rebounders in the ACC. Uh, I'll call it country. 
Uh, and, you know, he's going to be relied on this month, year because of the loss of Keve Aluma. Uh, he's going to be a guy that has to shoulder a lot of the front court play for Virginia Tech. Largest lead of the game for the Hokies, riding an 8 to nothing run after the foul on Caleb Clinton in the N1 conversion. Butts has five points and four rebounds. Johnson, deep three. And good job by Tajay Kelly, the man on the spot, to lay it in. He's been impressive in the first half. And that's a couple times now Charleston Southern's been able to get some second chance opportunities off of misses. That time an air ball. That's an all Patriot League two years ago and a three pointer missed by Darius Maddox. Maddox, you want to talk about dramatics? He had a buzzer beater against Clemson in the ACC tournament last year. Then he put up a 20 point game against the Tar Heels in the semifinals. On the Buccaneers, foul against the Bucks. Against foul. Oh, right here, this is just a tough Check break. Again, uh, Basili trying to block out. Uh, certainly, uh, didn't think the ball was going to land right underneath the basket. Uh, so that's a tough break. A good contest though on the three-point shot. Bad news is the ball did not draw any iron, and Charleston Southern was able to get an easy putback. Now on Trez Berry, his first. Zilly thought about it. Like the way they're passing around the perimeter? They are, but I do like the closeouts by Charleston Southern. That's all you can ask for with this uh, offense. Put back attempt by Padula, Padula, and here comes the Buccaneers again. by Chavez. Knocks down his third triple of the half. Suddenly it's a one point lead for the Hokies. Well, they're gonna keep shooting them. As you said, that's five uh, for the half so far. We still got five minutes, uh, a little over five minutes to go in the first. Sean Padula with the answer. Six tech baskets have come from six different players. Uh, both these teams, uh, such good shooting teams. They got guys that if you blink, uh, they are going to light you up from beyond the arc. Uh, right here again, not there on the catch. Uh, they're going to make you pay, John. On the other end, right here, nice little uh, rub screen. You lose contact, and we talked about it at the open. Padula shooting over 40 in his last couple four of Virginia Tech. What a rise for him. 5.4 points per game last year. 17 and a half this year. A fight. 50-50 ball attempt. He's scrappy as well, Sean Padula, going towards the Hokies bench. That's a coach's dream, isn't it? It is, and, and that's what uh, Mike Young talked about. He's a guy... Uh, that will compete against solid freshman campaign uh, last year. You saw flashes that time, uh, but credit Mike Young and his staff. Uh, the job they do with the player development, it just seems like guys year over year get better. And man, that's a big jump. Uh, you look at the first 18 games uh, to now. Almost doubled his point production. Waddell Harris watches the three. A fight for the loose ball. Out of bounds on Virginia Tech. Michael Collins getting his first court run of the night. Yeah, hard to tell from that angle. Now the ref obviously uh, has the better angle right there. Certainly the fans did not agree with that call. Collins, the 6'4 freshman, averaging four points. 
Three is good. Brian Ford. It's his second of the game. They're not going away, Malcolm. Well, we're seeing great offensive execution by both teams. That's a beautiful skip pass that time. Both teams utilizing spacing and then all their players out on the court. Really good passers. Collins missed. Buccaneers with a chance to grab another lead. But an offensive foul. 15 and last place in the Big South. And Barkley Radabas said they really needed it, Malcolm. Yeah, he said, look, it was a great experience. Obviously, uh, they played some good competition over there. Uh, but from a team building bonding, he said, look, I think it's going to do wonders for our season. I saw these young men come together uh, as teammates. Uh, and he thinks that, again, it's something that uh, they are going to benefit from as they get deeper into the season. Two marksmen, Chavez and Brian, putting together a nice night. Nice rebound by Mutz. And he is tough at the low post, and he capitalizes. That was a top of the keys uh, for me, for Charleston Southern. Uh, Mutz and Padula. Uh, you must contain Justin Mutz, in particular on the offensive glass. That's the transfer from Delaware. How about the roll in the rim by Dodd? Dodd just off the bench. And they're doing a good job on the offensive glass. And they're in plus three now above the Hokies in the rebounding department. And Dodd uh, coming off of a two, 2021 had an ACL tear. And, uh, looking pretty healthy there. Nice little spin move and finish. Quick feet, soft hands. This by Bazzilli. Harris between the circles. Chavez has been feeling it. Tenacious defense by Couture. Good reset though by a composed Buck squad. Harris the pull up. And Mutz engulfs the board. Here come the Hokies. Padula. Oh, that was pretty. Wide open. And he nails the layup. John, that was Virginia Tech's best defensive possession of the game. That previous possession, which led to a transition bucket. Perfect summary of what they want to accomplish on the offensive Big end. Man, but four, another four, counter by Brian. Brian. Counter punches are at a furious pace for the Bucks. Chavez again that time with the pull-up jumper. And not bad D by Virginia Tech, but that's just better offense. Guy just raising up over the defender. Watts, good pass. That would have been a nifty hoop by Padula. Old school, no look. Shot by Sean Padula. Here comes Charleston Southern with under a minute to play in the half. Barkley Radovaugh is going to be very happy with this result. But an offensive foul called on Claudio Harris by Teddy Valentine. ACC PM with Mark Packer, Trey Boston, and Taylor Tannenbaum. We'll talk football, but we'll also have the latest from around the conference. Check it out weekdays at 4 Eastern on ACCN and the ESPN app. Mark Packer busy on Twitter tonight tweeting about North Carolina's football loss to NC State. A bit of a shocker in Chapel Hill, and also the Tar Heels lost in basketball to Iowa State. Tough day if you're a Tar Heel fan. Couture called for an offensive foul. Hunter Couture at the elbow. Is that a good call, though? Well, yeah, let's see right here. Yeah, he's in good position. Again, the referee sitting there. Uh, that's great position. And you can see he slid his feet, got the arm out. Easy call for the ref uh, to make. That's just a really good defensive effort.
Chavez, gritty on the defensive end, picking up the offensive foul, and now a four-second differential with the shot clock and the game clock. Three. Big side rebound. Padula. Big pass down the lane for Kidd. The Clemson transfer with the lane and an end one. Terrific a, end of half execution. John, what a pass up by Sean Padula. Right here, draw two defenders. Pinpoint passing. Nice hesitation that time. And finish. Uh, you could not ask for a better ending to the half uh, if you're Mike Young. Uh, Len Kidd uh, that time using uh, great hands and footwork able to finish. A foul on Brian and Kidd at the line. Averaging four and a half points per game. Doesn't play much, but pretty productive and Good way to end the half with a three-point play. Four-point Virginia Tech lead. And a good first half. Austin Southern hanging right in there with the five and one Hokies. Buck shooting 43%. Virginia Tech at 50%. I'm going to keep an eye on second chance opportunities. Virginia Tech has to do a better job on the defensive glass not give Charleston Southern any second chances. Johnson with a basketball for Charleston Southern in the visiting Navy Blue jerseys. Tajay Kelly with six and four in the first half. Out of bounds. Off of the Buccaneers. Much to the chagrin of Iona transfer Talib Chavez. And that's all set up though by Hunter Couture being a pest on defense. Uh, he's done a nice job uh, defensively being active with his hands. Zilly trying to back in. Punched away and out of bounds off of the Hokies. That's great team defense by Charleston Southern. Virginia Tech basically just trying to isolate Vasily on the block and Little dig down from the guard, forced a turnover. Drula, Couture, Maddox, Bazilli, and Mutz. Original starting five for Virginia Tech. Bazilli, the transfer from Wright State. Mutz, the transfer from Delaware. Both schools doing a good job mining the transfer portal. And Todd Kelly is going to load for the Hokies' interior defense. Yeah, that's great patience and post entry pass. Again, that doesn't happen unless there's a really good post-entry pass, pinpoint passing, great spacing, and great hands, as you talked about. Pulled away by Caleb Clinton. Hawks led by as many as six in the first half. And a 50-50 fight between Clinton and Bazilli. How about the last bucket? Uh, look at that. Perfect uh, post entry pass, and then you talked about the hands, Kelly. That is great. A set of hands for the big, never brought the ball back down, went up and finished. All set up though by excellent passing. Yeah, Barkley Radabot told us that Taja Kelly needed to be a 13 and 8 guy this year for them to have success. Felt like that was definitely part of his arsenal. The tour. With the miss. Clinton, the wild drive, but he couldn't finish. Contact and a foul. That's on Virginia Tech's 25, Justin Mutz. That's his second. They're just Mutz. hanging around. First team foul. John, more spacing by Charleston Southern. And because they're shooting the ball so well, Virginia Tech has to uh, be out and be aware of the shooters uh, on the perimeter, and that's allowing some driving gaps uh, for these wing players. Checking in for the Hokies, 15, Kidd. Comes Lynn Kidd, who had the three-point play to end the first half and give the Hokies the four-point edge. 
Charleston Southern shooting 45%. They entered the night at 39% through their first four games. They lost to Tulane, and they got blown out by Ohio State. Coming off a win over Bethune-Cookman. Three. Good. What a shot by Hunter Couture. That's a luxury that Mike Young has. Uh, he's got some guys that can shoot it from beyond the arc. Hunter Couture, one of the quicker releases. Average nine threes per game. And a foul. The pass by Justin Mutz. And again, Second another team little team screen. We saw that in the first half. Justin Mutz, a willing screener. You know, Hunter Couture can't say enough about his release. If you're not there on the catch, you got no shot of catching up to his shot. Quick release, high arc, and uh, one of the more lethal shooters in the ACC. Maybe we don't talk about Mutz passing enough. I mentioned the triple-double he had against Syracuse last year in February when he posted 11 assists. You're not going to see that often, Malcolm, from a guy who's 6'8". No, he's so versatile. Again, he's the first, for me, uh, one of the top players, not just in the ACC, but in college basketball. Uh, he can rebound it. He can handle, uh, as Mike Young said, Mike Young calls him the best defender uh, he's ever coached. And he's been around a lot of really good players and coached some really good ones. High praise, though, for Justin Mutz, what he brings. Second ever in the Buccaneers, 24, Reggie Dubart. And the screens don't show up in that. Those seven, he helped uh, a lot of those, although he may not have gotten an assist for it. He's freed up uh, Couture and Padula uh, with his ability to screen. Moments ago, the third foul on Couture. Kelly down the lane, Two took back, kid to the rim. 14. Kelly. And Kelly is in double figures with 10. And you can see why the staff is so high on Tajay Kelly. Great size, and I'm impressed with his footwork. Man, I mean, that's a great spin move. Yeah. And finish with the left. Good drive by Maddox. But an old school move by Kelly? Yeah, and we spoke with Coach uh, uh, Raider Ball. He said, look, this guy needs to be dominant for us. And you can see why they are so high on him. But, John, that's a big-time spin move and finish with the left. And tonight, uh, he's done a little bit of everything. Rebounded, uh, shooting a high percentage. But I'm going back to my earlier key for Virginia Tech. Second-chance opportunities. Uh, right now, they're getting a lot of second-chance opportunities. And right now, uh, they have nine points uh, off of second-chance opportunities to two for Virginia Tech. So that's a plus seven. A lot of great work happening on the offensive glass for Charleston Southern. So a plus five rebounding edge for the Bucks. Kid goes down. Three. Got it. Talik Chavez ties the game at 41. Man, has he been dangerous when distant. How about four threes and six attempts for Chavez? Well, this is just a breakdown right here, John. Against trip in the backcourt by Kidd, and uh, it's an imbalanced number, five on four in favor of Charleston Southern, and they're just too good. Uh, they passed the ball well, made the extra pass, and we talked about their three-point shooting. Uh, they are one of the better three-point shooting teams in the Big South. That's why Barkley Radebach called them one of the top ten shooters in the country. The hook shot by Mutz, put back by Kidd. They're eating the glass, keeping it alive. They're missing the bunnies. They're doing the hard part. They need to check if there's a lid on that. That's three layups in a row they just missed. And the pull-up is good. That's Claudel Harris who's been quiet. Their leading scorer, and the Buccaneers grab the lead. 
stunningly so. The sellout crowd in Castle Coliseum is flustered. Kidd trying to grab a loose ball rebound and a travel. Charleston Southern with the two-point lead. Gritty, but right here, beautiful pull-up jumper. Virginia Tech has got their work cut out. Has got it going on all three levels. A right here, Gamble uh, by Virginia Tech. He's made him pay. Nice looking jumper. Uh, all within the offense. Uh, they found the extra guy, and he has made them pay every time they've left him open. That's something that needs to change uh, for Virginia Tech. They have to do a better job defending the three point line. A plus six rebounding edge for Charleston Southern. Minus 0.3 rebounding and entering the ball game. What a block. Marius Maddox gets the bucket in the goal 10. Good attempt, but Maddox will take it. Back to Chavez. He's season high is 14. He's at 12 right now. Good morning. 14 minutes to go in this game. Kelly, awkward shot. Here come the Hokies. Padula to Maddox and a foul. That's on Claudel Harris. Check that. Maddox the foul instead of Harris. Yeah, that right there. Yeah, that's a pretty good angle. And again, referees, uh, they're judged on the positioning and uh, if they're out of position they can't make that call he's right underneath the basket in great position he has the best angle and uh, it looks like a pretty good call right there tough break for Virginia Tech that's got to be a jump stop jumper right there cannot keep your momentum going into the player a good call Hunt. and the turnover numbers are minimal for both squads punched away and on cue a turnover and a bucket by Padula Hudson Padula at nine of Virginia Tech's last 11 points to end the half. The Hokies are up two again. RJ Johnson, the Holy Cross transfer. Twenty seconds on the shot clock for Charleston Southern. Second in for Charleston Southern. Thirteen to lead Chavez. Chavez back in after a brief respite on the bench. Johnson played just seven games last year with a knee injury. After Patriot League All Rookie Campaign 2021. Defense by Virginia Tech, but Chavez takes it. Tomorrow at 6 Eastern, the ACC Huddle crew will have a complete wrap-up of the afternoon games, and they'll get you set for the primetime matchup between Pitt and Miami on ACC at 8. It's all on the ACC Network and the ESPN app. trying to become bowl eligible with a victory. Tough first year for Mario Cristobal and the U. Out of bounds off of the active Buccaneers. Barkley rate of our 218 and 301 18 years on the Bucks sideline. Skatour checks back in for Lynn Kidd. Hokie shooting just 30% in the second half, Malcolm. Why does that happen? Well, credit uh, Charleston Southern. They've done a nice job uh, defensively. Uh, Barkley rate of when we talked to him this afternoon, he said, look, we have to get back to our man-to-man -man principles. We need to be tough. We need to make it 
difficult for That's other teams to, to run their and offense. I think thus far in this game, he has to be pleased with how his team uh, has defended and then also rebounded the ball. You talked about it, John. A plus four uh, right now in favor of Charleston Southern uh, in the rebounding department. Fouls on Clinton is third with Mutz at the line. Second in for Charleston Southern, number four, Tyree Bryan. Tyree Bryan back in for Charleston Southern. Clinton to the bench with three fouls and an inability for each team to pull away. Yeah, high level basketball. Uh, spacing has been good, but the defense, uh, I think the defensive intensity in this last uh, really four minute stretch, impressive on both ends. Defense by the Hokies. Elbow jumper, Claudel Harris, he hits it. Amazing what he's been able to do. And this guy, uh, 22 points off the bench in his last game. Uh, he's their leading scorer, 19 points per game, and his pull-up game really is difficult to defend. Hansi in the post with Butts, but the last pull up by Harris. And John, that's not bad defense. I mean, that's just a guy, uh, you know, going to his left, pulling up, and the defender is there. He's just raising up over him. That's a tough two. Stuffing the shot, stat sheet with those numbers. Pass on the Buccaneers, Tony Wong, Amaji Dodd. That's his second. Amaji Dodd called for the foul on Padula, who wants the three. Opportunity Two here for Virginia Tech. Three, shooting three. three shots for Padula. This not a good decision right here again. Late on the closeout. And you know, Padula is the one guy you definitely do not want to put him on the free throw line. There you go, though, the old announcer. Second, the <laughs> 14, Tyson Kelly, and 24, Reggie Duhart. Back to his production Second, increase. Uh, obviously, last year, freshman year, solid. Showed some flashes, and obviously that was not his role uh, within that team. But this season, again, the player development can't say enough about what Mike Young and his staff do with guys. They get in there and they just seem like they get better each year. Padula, huge jump in numbers. Young has an uncanny knack for developing players. Here comes Mutz with a steal. Numbers, Padula! Fast break run expertly by Justin Mutz. Pokies with a burst. Harris Two point nails it. Is good by number 12, Claude Harris. Claudel I mean, Harris, when he gets going, look out. I mean, that's just a guy. Let me ISO cross you up and then raise up into my jumper. He is a difficult matchup one-on-one. -on -one. Step back. Padula. Here comes Chavez. Decision to hold. Three. Got it. Three point basket is good by That's four. Brian three again, Brian. who has three out of three from distance, and they tie it up. Five point lead. Seconds ago, wiped away. John, that's all set up by Quadel Harris. Again, could have pulled up, head fake, and then draw another defender. Unselfish play to kick it up to his teammate for a wide open three. Zilly's been quiet. Rebound, weak side. A good take by Maddox, but goes out of bounds. How about this from Bryant? Third three and three attempts? Are you kidding me? He's got a pretty shot. The offense for the Buccaneers is flicking. At the Home Depot, 
Justin Mutz, Mr. Versatility, Malcolm Huckabee from Virginia Tech. And he does the little things. Double screen right here, frees up Couture uh, for a jumper. Again, unselfish, a willing screener, something that may not show up in the box score, but believe me, this coaching staff knows what he means to this team. In the passing lane, that's your 6-7, uh, do it all forward, leading the break, making an unselfish pass that led to another uncontested layup. Uh, you look at his numbers, eight points, you know he's gonna rebound, three assists, uh, but the screening, John, I think that's the key thing. Mutz, Couture, uh, all these three-point shooters have to get open somehow. He does a great job screening, freeing up guys for some quality looks. Shout out to Olivia, our Piero operator for those pretty pictures. How about that, Huck? What a move again by Justin Mutz inside. He is crafty. Just when you think he's got something else in the bag. Well, I think that's in the matchup they need to go back to right there. Charleston Southern is not going to double team. Uh, let Justin Mutz go uh, end the books, but I think that might be another foul on Mutz. That's his third. Fourth is third on Mutz. Nine lead changes now. But this right here, again, I like this matchup. If you're Virginia Tech, they don't double. I go back to that if Charleston Southern is going to stay in man and not double. Uh, let Justin Mutz uh, play in the post. Well, Harris has been hot. Rebound by Duhart. And pass by Brazili. Harris double team splits it. Claudel well, Harris proving why he's one of the top scorers of the Big South. And he can score at all three levels. We've seen his pull-up game. Solid three-point shooter, but uh, that's great body control there. Eight tie of the ball game, the three. Maddox missed. Good entry pass to Tajay Kelly. Equally good defense by Mutz, who fights for the loose ball. Chavez behind the back. Waiting seconds of the shot clock. Good defensive possession by the Hokies. Yeah, and that's the individual de uh, defensive effort by Sean Padula that time, forcing a deep contested three. Open three months. Can't ask for a better look. Wide open, uh, double. It almost seems like Charleston Southern. Uh, they're going to live with much shooting threes. And certainly, you're right. They left him wide open. Can't ask for a better look. That's been the tone in the second half. Poor shooting by Virginia Tech at 26 percent. Hokies led by four at the half. Kelly to the rack and the end one. Two point basket counts by 14. Of uh, the post entry by passes. John, the post entry passes uh, by Charleston Southern have been on point. Uh, that's a beautiful uh, uh, entry pass, difficult angle. And then Tajay Kelly does a great job sealing his defender. And uh, you can see why uh, they think he's the X Factor. 6'7, about 250. He is solid, great hands. And I've been impressed uh, with his footwork. And physicality around the basket. Hard not to be. Buck could not complete the three point play. Either team is led by more than six points. Padula, crafty again. And kid, the putback. They needed that. That's great work on the offensive glass uh, by Len Kid. You're absolutely right. They needed that bucket. Harris gets it back and hits it. And he's hit some miraculous shots. And last season, all Big South freshman team comes off the bench, which starts for probably pretty much any team in the league. 
accepts his role, plays more minutes than anybody, and that guy can flat out score. Brazili, the kid, the board, and a foul. Charleston Southern nip and tuck with the Hokies. Two point advantage at Blacksburg. Of games coming up. ACC Big Ten Challenge. You do not want to miss it the next couple days on the ESPN family of networks. Look at that slate. It is a basketball potpourri. Malcolm, so many games on that schedule. What are you looking forward to? I mean, all of them, but really that Michigan uh, Virginia game really intriguing. Uh, so many good ones out there, but I think the biggest thing bragging rights uh, for the respective conferences. There's been so much debate uh, going on. Look, obviously, ACC had a pretty good tournament run, run last year, and I think that's really the only one that matters, uh, what you do in March. Sets an early table, though. Perhaps tilting some levels of competition, but what a dogfight in Blacksburg between the Bucks and the Hokies. Poor shooting by Virginia Tech in the second half. It's like Charleston Southern Sticking around, they have a two-point lead. Justin Mutz, a double team, works out of it to Lynn Kidd. Ten. If I'm Mike Young right now, I'm running my offense. Every possession, uh, Justin Mutz is getting a touch. If Charleston Southern stays man and stays home, let him go to work. If they come double, he's such a good passer and willing passer. And I like that last possession. Beautiful find by Justin Mutz. Has four assists. Almost 10 points and eight rebounds and a steal. Let's see Cerebral player. Kid, Clemson transfer. To Maddox. Good track down by Couture. And comes up empty. Not a bad look. Pass was off, and I think that threw Couture's shot off. If the pass was on point, I think he has a better opportunity of making that three. He had to adjust just to catch it. Couture, the 6 3 shooter from Orlando, with six points up and under move. And a misfire by Dodd. Adula spinning. Maddox. Oh, that was nifty. What a move by Darius Maddox. I think the key thing, he didn't settle for a jumper. He could have easily settled for a jumper on that kickout. Decided to drive. Barkley Radebaugh takes a timeout. Charleston Southern. Is it tilting towards the Hokies? Do they have a knockout punch coming up? Some amazing fans across the ACC, and now we need your help. This winter, ACC Network wants to experience the sport from your perspective. So snap a pic or take a video, tag it with a hashtag, all the devotion, and post it to your social. You just might see it on ACCN. There's one for you. That guy looks familiar. That other guy looks familiar. Man, see what you're missing on Twitter, Malcolm? <laughs> I'll let you get all the love on Twitter for me, man, all right? Now, right here, though, we got ourselves a ball game, and uh, this uh, stadium has erupted. Yes, they have. Sellout crowd. Post-Thanksgiving. Three by Chavez. Wild shot. Empty possession off the Barkley Radabaugh timeout by the Buccaneers. What happened? Well, Virginia Tech defense uh, has picked up, and... Great job uh, identifying screens, and then they communicated, forced a very difficult contested three. A hook shot by Mutz. His outstanding game continues. Sometimes you just got to simplify your offense. And I called it, look, Justin Mutz, put him down low on the block, one-on-one. -on -one. If they're not going to help, and let him continue to go to work. Kelly snaps the scoreless string for the Buccaneers. It's 
14 for Kelly. Well, he's had an impressive night. I'll tell you right now, they were picked uh, not to finish high in the Big South, but been impressed with their performance. An offensive foul called against Virginia Tech. We'll be back right after this, our final media timeout. I remember when I first started flying. Two point edge over Charleston Southern. Justin Butts has been the show. And there's a theme with these last three buckets. Uh, they've all been inside the paint right here. A dribble drive. Don't settle for the jumper. Work it in. Higher percentage shot. I think this is a key right here. Justin Mutz, let him touch the ball on every offensive possession. If they don't double, let him do that right there. If not, he's a willing passer. I like that, Malcolm. The plus 14 points in the paint edge for the Hokies. But Kelly has been brute force, and he hits it somehow on the putback to tie it again. Grown man move right here. This is just a big boy going up. I'm just going to outmuscle you, get my own miss, go back up, do contact, and finish. When we spoke with Barkley Ray Ball this afternoon. He said, look, uh, this guy's the X factor. Uh, he must be dominant in the paint for us. Uh, tonight, uh, he was pretty dominant. He's doing a nice job establishing himself uh, in the post. Ball was on Lynn Kidd. That's when you think the Hokies are ready to pull away. Charleston Southern has an answer. Up and under move by Mutz. A foul. Reginald Duard, like Duard the foul. foul. And I like how they're posting Mutz. Again, see how much spacing they have. Because you have Padula Couture out on the court, uh, when they make post-entry passes, you cannot help off of them. Excellent spacing by Virginia Tech and identifying uh, that Mutz is their advantage. Hence of moments for Mike Young, his fourth year on the Hokies bench. A record of 59 and 37 as Mutz hits both. Timeout for Zippy. Yeah, take a 30 second timeout. Hokies trying to go to 6 and 1 with a two point lead. In the final 253, what's the strategy for Mike Young and Virginia Tech now? Well, the problem has been uh, Kelly. Uh, Tajay Kelly really has been an issue for them. Uh, so you got to make a decision. I think you almost have to dig, but you can't double because of the way Charleston Southern uh, has shot the ball. So you have to try to front or three-quarter uh, uh, defend the post and try to deny Kelly getting those post-entry passes. Uh, but then your guards have to dig out off of him, see if you can come up with a turnover. Uh, but they've been trying to find him in the post. Kelly with 16 and 9. Chavez to Kelly again. And out of bounds. Game possession for the Buccaneers with 20 to shoot. And I like what Charleston Southern is doing. They're using ball screen action just to get Kelly moving. They know they want to post them up. See, they'll bring them out to the high post. But they're just yeah. trying to roll them down to the paint. How about that easy like pick from like Claudel Harris? Claudel Harris. Man, that was simple, wasn't it? It was all set up, though. There's so much attention on Kelly. Uh, the big did not even help that time. Harris with 15. He's one of four bucks in double figures. Mutz, spin move, beauty. Justin Mutz, what a touch. Now they have not had an answer for him in this second half. Up to 16 points uh, for Justin Mutz. 12 ties, 10 lead changes. Harris, oh, he gets the roll. My goodness. And pretty much all of his points in the second half, there's been a lot of them, have been contested. Uh, he's had very few open looks. Uh, he's hit some tough shots off the bounce. That's off a double team and a power slam to Lincoln. 
He always makes the right pass. Timeout, Time Hokies. Well, John, Justin Mutt's line for tonight, 16 points, 8 rebounds, but I've been so impressed with this right here. His passing, that time out of the double team, he's drawing so much attention because they cannot handle him one-on-one. -on -one. And then he's so unselfish, and uh, Mike Young and staff just rave about what he means to this Virginia Tech team. We talked about him being excellent student as well, too, getting it done off the court. But uh, for me, he's one of the better players, not just in the ACC, but in college basketball. So versatile, can really guard one through five, and offensively really has expanded this game. Yeah, he has. He has five of their 14 assists. First half, there was 11 combined threes. The second half, just three. Both teams have gone inside the arc. Has that surprised you? Uh, for Virginia Tech, no. I think it's a, a good call for them. They shoot a high percentage shots. Uh, but I think the, the issue now is defensively. Uh, Tajay Kelly really has been a handful in the second half. Uh, Virginia Tech uh, really uh, has got to do a better job making it a little bit more difficult for them to enter the ball into the post. He's establishing basically two feet inside the paint because they're doing a lot of actions to get him diving into the post and get him posted up. But uh, that's going to be the issue right now, Virginia Tech, how they guard Tajay Kelly. And then for Charleston Southern, uh, what are you going to do with Justin Mutz? Uh, they doubled the last time down. He's such a good passer. He wound up getting his teammate a wide open dunk. Uh, that's really the strategy right now for both teams how you're going to defend Mutz, and on the other end, uh, how you're going to defend Tajay Kelly. Kelly and Harris have 24 of the Buccaneers' 31 second-half points. This is Claudel Harris. One minute to play. One minute Under a minute, minute remaining in regulation. A take. Hook shot off the line by Duhart, not what they were looking for. Padula will hold. Mutz skips it. What a move, Maddox. Mutz from Kidd, flustered at the rim, gets it back. And a foul. Justin Mutz. Industrious again in the post. Hey John, this is great patience right here. Again, not settling for jumpers. Uh, they scored a lot of their points in the paint to close out this second half. We talked in the first half, uh, they were shooting at a high clip from the three-point line. I like Virginia Tech's patience and then recognizing uh, that they don't need to settle for jumpers in this situation. Timeout, Charleston Southern. One remaining for each team. Tasha Kelly, huge part of their offensive success and defensive success. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, Big South on notice. Uh, he is a handful down low. I've been impressed with his footwork, ability to finish, and then Charleston Southern's done a nice job spacing the floor because they have shooters. But on the offensive glass, uh, he has been a handful uh, for Virginia Tech to handle. Take us inside the Barkley Rated Bar huddle. Where are you going? Well, right now, again, it's all going to come down to defending uh, Justin Mutz. You have to stay home, though, because they have those shooters out on the perimeter. Padula, uh, Couture, they really have not been uh, shooting many threes, rightfully so, because Mutz has been the go-to guy. Uh, so it starts with your dig outs and then your rotations. If you do double on Mutz, have to be quicker. It wasn't there the last time. Mutz uh, made a nice pass uh, for a wide open dunk. Uh, on the other end, it's the same thing, same strategy for Virginia Tech. You have to dig on Tajay Kelly. Uh, you haven't been able to defend him one on one. So your guards have to dig. But then if you do go dig or double, you have to be out and close out on those shooters. Uh, easier said than done. We've seen some high level offense from both teams. I also think defensive rebounding. You cannot give up uh, any second chance opportunities, uh, either team. 36 35 rebounding edge for the Hokies with Mutz at the line. After the foul was on Duhart.
point lead. Seventeen for Mutz. One out of two. Shot clock off. And another timeout for the Buccaneers. Twenty-two point two remaining in regulation. John, if you're in Charleston Southern, twenty-two point two seconds. Uh, that's an eternity. Right, so you don't need a three. Now, again, if it comes off of, you get the ball down low uh, to Kelly or off a screen, dribble, drive, kick out for a good look, that's fine. You'll live with that. Uh, but right now, you're just looking to get into your offense quick. Kelly has been your guy. Play through him. And then you still have time to set up your defense, uh, go for one steal, and then foul, obviously, if you don't get the steal, uh, unless you hit a three. Uh, but certainly in this situation, you don't need a three right away. Uh, the three ball, though, has been kind to really uh, Charleston Southern in this game. You look at their numbers, 42% uh, from the three-point line. They've made eight. Waddell Harris 0 for 5 from 3. Ryan 3 for 3. Chavez 4 for 8. Here we go. Harris has the ball. Switch with Mutz on him now. The three, Chavez punched out of bounds. We're going to take a look at this. This is one, though. Again, you must have this ball if you're Virginia Tech. Yeah, that angle right there now. That angle, it looks like Kelly was the last one to touch it. But certainly, though, Mutz is swinging his hand. Mm, yeah, I, I don't think there's going to be enough to reverse it. Only because Justin Mutz, yeah, Justin Mutz is swinging his hand. And the ball goes the way that Mutz is swinging his hand. That's still going to be Charleston Southern. Again, Agreed. it looks like Mutz. Yeah, it looks like Mutz is the one who knocked it. Yeah. Yeah, and again, you look at the positioning. I think that's Teddy Valentine right there. Again. Positioning. He's in great position, as you would expect he would be. Veteran official. Uh, they just want to make sure, though, take a look at it, get it right. Such an important call in this game. But I still believe it's going to be Charleston Southern ball. What a ball game, Malcolm. So many times, so many lead changes, back and forth. Arthur Radebaugh sounded confident. We spoke with him earlier. Mike Young was confident in his squad and the other day when we spoke to him. So both coaches felt like they were in a good spot. Both teams have played well. Despite poor shooting by Virginia Tech in the second half, they still have had some answers. And credit Charleston Southern. Uh, as you take a look, yep, they say it's going to still stay Charleston Southern ball. Uh, but you're absolutely right, John. I think, you know, Charleston Southern really has performed both ends offensively uh, you know they can go and shoot the ball from the three-point line but I've been more impressed with Tajay Kelly uh, his presence in the post for them to go along with Claudel Harris uh, one of the better scorers uh, in the Big South and they're resetting the game clock drop to 11.3 seconds where are you going on the inbound uh, right now, if you're playing the way they are, I'm just lobbing it up to Kelly. Let him go to work. Uh, Padula looks like he's going, excuse me, that looks like uh, Hunter Couture. Looks like he's just going to stay home. Chavez to inbound. In a hurry. He does. Harris beyond the arc. He'll launch. Rebound, Couture. Going the other way on the foul. Good look Double for Claudel Harris. And he hits the back iron. Well, the play took so long to develop, and this is good defense by Padula. Again, you do not want to foul in this position. 
to just get your hands up, make him shoot a contested three. But that play took a long time to develop. It did. Good call. Quiet Hunter Couture at the line for the first time in the game, and he nails it. Big time foul shot by Hunter Couture, the reigning ACC tournament MVP. Holland's back in his only run of the second half. Five point Hokies lead. Money at the line for Hunter Couture. And if you're Virginia Tech right now, just do not want to foul. And certainly, well, that's the last thing you want to do. Harris to three at the buzzer, no good. And that wraps it up. Valiant effort by both teams. It was gritty, it was gutty, and Virginia Tech wins by five. Your final thoughts, huh? Uh, Virginia Tech comes away with a win. Uh, Justin Mutz uh, solidified. He's one of the better players, uh, not just in the ACC, but in college basketball. Uh, but on the other side, Charleston Southern, uh, I think a lot of people are going to have some uh, eyebrows raised thinking.